Alrighty. We're back. I need to get the, uh, the Drago Fang that the blacksmith dude said he'd have for me. Because I need it. Because one of, one of the kids ran away to get revenge for the murder of his mother. Which, you know, is understandable. But I, I feel like I would try and do that after I've gone through like a training arc or something. Zaxi, just take this and go. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Got the Drago Fang. The thing that killed my wife. I realize this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Oof. Hopefully it's like... A super strong... Thing, you know? The relic of a horrible accident. A fang sharp enough to pierce even Drago hide. This isn't the time to use. I mean, it is a special item. So I should be able to keep it. The item shop. Saxy, I'm sorry I was so useless. Anyways, this is the village bazaar. If you need anything, just go ahead and take it. An ancient banana. It's too old to eat, but it could probably be used for something. Sure. Radio. If anyone brings any more bile, set them out here. Edible mushroom. It's tasty and energizing. Sure. I mean, might as well take everything I can get. It might be useful. Just a nut. Whoops, you can't hold any more stuff. Alright. What is this? Jackie's Yaddo Inn. We won't over pamper you, though. I don't think I need to go to an inn. I'm gonna explore around. See what I find. Who lives in here? Oh, this guy. Oh, Zaxi. It's truly hard to bear when younger ones... Younger ones pass away first. Oh, yes, yeah, Zaxi. There's a useful item used in the thief arts. Take it with you. Okay. Yeah, something useful for me. I'm gonna drop the mushroom. I don't need it. Let's see. What is it, old man? Thunder bomb. I won't stop you. I have an inkling of where you're off to. But your life's not the only one at risk here. Old Nippolite is getting up there in years. Don't make him dig another grave. I won't. I'm gonna go save my kid and get revenge. You can't enter the basement. Why? Whatever. Alrighty. If I go to the beach, there might be some stuff over there. Are you looking for our boss? Last I saw, he was scuttling around, looking out at the sea in a quiet, unbecoming way. Oh, he got smacked. What is he, a hermit crab or something? Sorry, we were just practicing our comedy routine. Okay. Ah, uh, what's up, man? I never thought I'd see you lose it like that. I mean, he lost his wife. What else would you expect? But if you start acting like that, what will happen to the two kiddos who rely on you? You know what's best. It's tough being a man. I mean, you can still cry if you're a man. You know? Sad stuff is still sad. Holding it in doesn't do you any good. No doubt Marius is intent on avenging Crystal. You better go after him and fast. I'll let you borrow this. Well, oh, come on now. Inventory is f okay. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of more trash. 
Cheese that you either love or hate. HP restore varies from person to person. Causes an enemy to slip and fall, inflicting damage. That might be good. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm gonna switch my mini mini charm to the flea one. Because the flea charm is better. And then I'm gonna destroy the mini mini one. Okay. Let me borrow whatever you're gonna let me borrow. Manly bandana. Don't worry. I washed it, it's clean. Ba -ba -ba. Oh! Oh, it lowers my defense though. But my damage increases. Whatever. I need more. I need more damage, anyways. Who's this? Oh, he hello there. I wasn't the one who decided to place you in that jail cell. Really, it wasn't me. I, I think it was... It was definitely this guy. I understand how you must be feeling. But please don't lash out at those around you. Yeah, it was definitely this guy who put him in the jail. Who is this? Sebastian? Phew, so busy, so busy. I guess he's a butler. Oh, this is the dude I beat up in that in that cutscene. I don't have any hard feelings for you. I'm very open-hearted, you see. At least he takes it like a champ, and he understands that uh, he was just lashing out and didn't really mean anything by what he did. Alright, I'm off. The heck is this? You encountered a praying mantis. Cool, I guess. He did one- I one-shot them. Okay. This game is not as hard as I thought it was. These, these there are a lot of antidotes inside the box but you can't hold any more stuff do i need any no i have two and i think i'm gonna need everything else yeah nice i like how one of his skills is just to get an instant crit Ooh, level up neat Then I got a healing item. Let's see, does he like the cheese? He loves it. It maxes out his HP. Okay. Now I know cheese is an easy uh, full heal. For this character at least. I can just follow you. Uh oh. The spud bug. I can just attack and kill them. Nice. Nice. That was some good XP. I don't like this weird tree, dude. A walking bushy. Tried life up. He healed me? Oh. Well, now I just feel bad. It healed me. It, it wasn't even trying to hurt me. Well, I'm sorry, Bushy. Oof. An agitated boar suddenly attacked. Power smash. Nice. 
I feel like I gotta increase my luck for this character so that he gets just gets crits all the time. I need to increase the percentage chance for that. To just make it super easy to get him. Beef jerky, nice. The heck? A boulder? A crag lizard? What is this thing? Alright, get my defense up. Oof, that still hurt. Come on. Oh my god, I missed. Come on. Dang it. Ouch. Please. Uh, why am I missing so bad? Hit him. That's one hit. Okay. What if I swing? Only 18. Come on. Nice! Oh my! That thing had a lot of XP. Or not XP, HP. Aquarius bracelet. New equipment. Increases my defense by two. That's like barely anything. But eh, it's useful. I don't need this bracelet, so I'll drop it. Yep. There we go. Keep going. Ahead, Argilla Pass. I know how you feel, but stay away. Why? There are ants at your feet. You might... Oh. I guess I can't go that way. I'll probably need to go over there. After meeting with, uh, the grandfather. Alright. There he is. Oh, and then this song. It'll always be a sad, a sad song for me now. Because I'm gonna remember the mom. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? It seems one bit me right on the head too. I've healed up perfectly though. No, 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 no. None of that matters. I know where Marius might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Nice. This is gonna be a walk in the park. This is gonna be my my no death run. I'm gonna try and not die the entire game. Cause I have died a bunch in Earthbound and Beginnings. Cause those were hard. Zaxi. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought what didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I I've seen the little frogs. Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction it tells us. On oh, that little red one? Alrighty. Zach Z. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends, are known as Mag Gypsies. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. That's fine. I am a lizard. I'll show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. Down. Alrighty. Zaxi. I see you're not walking as fast now. It seems the word ma mag gypsies has made you curious. The mag gypsies have mysterious powers. And have been protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. 
They are good natured though. We're just going all the way back. Where do we go now? <laughs> I don't know why they're just spinning in place. Oh. These weren't here. Wrong. I am the wrong frog. Right, right, right. Frog, the right frog. You're gonna make a frog bridge? Yeah, they are. Okay. No problem here. Hey there, lucky man. I'm the wrong frog. Oh, there we go. Oh. Off we go. There's a save there, but I don't need to save right now. At least I don't think I do. And a nice little healing area. Good, good, good. I like that they added these. And just like put them around the map. The first two games were lacking a lot of places to heal. It was way harder to heal. Until like late game. When you had like... 10 different ways to heal. Is this them? Is that Alec? It is! It is! Good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude. Ionia, introduce us. Or is it Lonia? I don't know. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend, Alec. And who's this with you? Saxy, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Mag G Gypsies. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia. Then there's Doria. Afrigia. Lydia. And that one over there is Mixolydia. Or Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locria. You can call me Lonia. Hmm? You can't remember all that? Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right. How lucky poo. It's been a while. I'm glad to see you're well. I hear you helped my grandson, Marius. Do you know where he might have went? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a little while ago? Then I suppose this Zaxi fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. Okay, but where is he? So what about Marius? Where is he? Yeah. Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time. So I sent him on his way with a super powerful sight technique. I thought he'll be able to use it very easily though. So he left then? And you didn't stop him? What if something happens to him? Okay. So these people, or these beings, are what are gonna allow me to unlock new psychic abilities? Interesting. Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans here one minute and gone the next. You poor things barely live a hundred years, if that. That's a blink of an eye to us, mag gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Are they just the elves of this world? Now, now. Mixolydia. Phygia. Phygia. I don't know, man. Humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, uh, Lucky Poo? <laughs> I understand how you feel. I really do. They sound very... Insensitive. I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Marius went. The boy headed for the Drago Plateau, quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you just might catch him in time. 
Drago Plateau, you say? Zaxi Latori there. Yeah, screw these people. They sound very insensitive and I don't like them. Zaxi, the quickest way to get to the Dragon Plateau or Drago Plateau is through the cave behind this house. Marius probably went through the cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Zaxi. But you're not gonna get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understood? No. Come on now, that's no good. Smile and relax. No. I, he just lost his wife. How could he just smile and pretend to be happy? That's not how people work. Is there a save frog somewhere? I want to save my progress before I go into this cave. Nah. I don't think there's any here. Oof. This is a really dark cave. Zaxi. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? No problem here. Hmm. There's only one path. And I can kinda see in the shadows. Keep going west at this fork in the road. You sure? What if it's one of those where you ignore him? No, no, he's right. Dang it. I mean, it was super easy either way. Peculiar cheese. That's a useful item. We go north here. Oh, nope. That's a crag lizard. I don't want to fight that thing. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and then jump right down. This one? Okay. Zaxi. Follow the southeast passage. There was some beef jerky, but you can't carry more stuff. What do I not need at the moment? This bread. I don't need any nut bread. I'd rather have beef jerky and cheese. Because those are what heal me the most. What? Oh, Zach Zipoo. That was my Mag Gypsy impression. Did you like it? Relax, relax. That was just weird, old man. I'll tell you this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork in the path. Okay. But what is in the north? Oh. We just did a loop. We just did a loop. Okay. I'll follow him this time. Where I went, it was just to go back. Head west from here, but there's something here. A running bomb. I need that. I want to have some bombs. On my person. Just in case. Ordinary hat. I'm sorry. You're going in the poo poo. Poo poo bin. Got the running bomb. Wait. Was that you? Just kidding. It was me. Hey, hey, hey. He's, I know he's trying to lighten up the mood, but, but he's just being annoying. He's like, teehee, I farted, lol. When he's like 30 years old. No, he's probably like 60. Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? I'm pretty sure there's a vine to the north. We need to find it and climb up. That wasn't funny, old man. Also, it's not to the north. 
The fact there's a vine here means that my directions just now were wrong. Sorry. Want me to say a pun or something? I hate you, old man. Now where we go? North here. Head north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North, north, north. There's a lizard there. Even though, how much XP do I need? 300. Okay, yeah. It's not worth it. Zaxi pie. I am gonna hurt you. Don't be so embarrassed. <laughs> We're as good as there now that we've made it this far. Now we just need to head upward and climb up some vines. The vines go up because they're divine. Oh, come on. It's just a pun. Okay. There's some moles here. There's another vine. Up we go. another one here and we're out there's all the scratch marks and those are some lizards Ooh, nice 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 a save I really needed it I leveled up quite a bit low 14 pigs Alright, I'm not gonna go towards them. What's over here? That's the exit. Alright, I'm gonna deal with these pigs. They deserve what's coming. Come at me, losers! They immediately ran away. In only a few seconds, this instant revitalization device fully revitalizes you. Uh, no, I don't need to. I'm already full healed. Some strange stuff you've never seen before is lying here. Are they playing a game? Or they're controlling something? I don't know what they were doing. We should have fought them instead of letting them run away. And look at that. There they go again. The cowards. They're afraid of confrontation. They just do horrible stuff and then leave. They're just a bunch of cowards. That tree looks alive. And as with most, th most things in this game, if they look alive, they're alive. Nothing up. Yeah. I did that did nothing. Strengthen. And yeah, this thing has a lot of health. Even though it's just holding up his pincers to look threatening. Nice. It did nothing. It did nothing but be tanky. Alright. There's the baby Drago. What is it playing with? What is that? What is that thing? Now it's just crying. And it ran away. What is this? This is one of Marius' favorite shoes. This belongs to Marius. And that was a baby Drago just now. Marius must be around here somewhere. Got a child shoe. It's so sad. Look at that. I have. He has his wife's cloth from her dress, and now his kid's shoe. My goodness. He better still be alive. Nah, I don't need that. Nut bread's not that good. I knew the trees were alive! I knew it! Look at this thing. My god. 
Those things explode upon death? I gotta be careful with those stupid trees. That did so much. No! Oh, not another one. Those trees hurt like a mother trucker. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna be all out of... All out of beef jerky soon. This looks like the thing you saw atop that cliff earlier. This one appears to be broken, however. Yeah, like whatever was there... Ran away. I am getting my ass handed to me. Those trees are horrible. More beef jerky. At least there's healing items literally everywhere. If not, this would be a nightmare. Well, that tree's not alive. I found his other shoe. It's Mario's other shoe. Uh, Marius, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? What was that? My god. It's a Drago. But it, it got turned into a cyborg. What is that? That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. My goodness. That thing is dangerous. I bet you that's the one that killed... That killed the mom. It did something to Marius. Mecha Drago suddenly attacked. I need to toughen up. That little war cry. On. Drago Fang. How much damage? It pierced the Mecha Mecha Drago's hide. It let out a howl. Saxy sprung. Oh, he already had it pierced. Okay. I guess that just makes him weaker. Thunderbomb. Nice. He's been turned numb. It means it won't be able to attack. Use an ancient banana. Mega Dragon slipped. Nice. Stop being concerned about your back pain. Hit him with the bomb. Snowman can't move. Let's go. Sprinting bomb. Come on. It shot flames out? That hurts so much. Um, peculiar cheese. I need a full heal. There we go. Hit him with the burning bomb. Come on. Numbness faded. Oh no. It's not numb anymore. Might as well fool you. It is dangerous. Uh, strengthen up. And then I'll try and I'll try and hit him with some smashes. Smash him, please! I missed. Come on! Come on! There we go. Ouch! Come on, hit him again. I missed. I need a heal. I have one more heal, just in case. Power smash him. 
I missed. Come on. I feel like I just need like one or two more power smashes and I win this. I tried one last attack. Did mortal damage. Oh my god. Mecha Dragon became tame. And look at what my health landed at. 69. <laughs> nice. I defeated him. Now where the heck is my kid? You stupid Drago. Even though... I don't think it's its fault. Look at what those pig bastards did to it. Where's my kid, you demon? Just stay down. Ah. Uh, we're gonna show sympathy to it, I guess. Zaxi, don't do it. That won't solve anything. You'll only make his child go through what Marius and Ayo had to. True. But, I mean, the grandfather's right. Who I should be stabbing is those pig bastards. Not the Drago that got turned into a cyborg. Where's my kid? Little Drago's trying to defend his mom. Uh, it's crying. I don't feel bad for it since it did kill the mother. Oh, and there he is! It is possible that until now, the people of Tazmili village had never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who had would share with those who had not. However, it now appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people like Zaxi have even had their families torn apart. Just what is this auspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing Marius be? He's right there! The, mis the mysteries continue to pile up, and so the tale first begins as a tragedy. But he's right there, but I mean, they probably think he's dead because they found the shoes where the Drago was at. Dang. I don't think he's dead. He's probably just knocked out after falling from that high up. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that has happened so far? Sure. Are we going into a new chapter? Probably. Oh, what is this? Why am I back here? Zach Z. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Crystal was a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this before. Ayo's been crying at her grave. This poor little heart is gonna break. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. Is this like a flashback or something? Or are we switching? Oh. The, f the, the dad never talked in this part. Johnny Thanks Nah Just feel bad for him Are you playing as Johnny? This might be why It replayed that scene Yeah we are Thief Adventure
And who's the thief in this game that I know about? Johnny. Is this the night of the incident? Johnny, I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. Was that old man a master thief? Listen, the time has come. No, this is not something we have been looking forward to. I had hoped the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But you and I have been constantly preparing for this day in the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I've taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown, but we must now change the way we live. Are you prepared? Yep. Johnny, I am now going to give you a mission. What is that place? You will sneak into Osohi Castle. There you will find a certain important item and bring it back here. As for what this certain important item is, no, there is no need for me to tell you. If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a disgrace to the profession. Still, would you like to know a little about it? Yep. Please let me know. I'm just a beginner. It's a very important looking item. It's like, all shiny. Yeah. I will say no more than that. <laughs> That's pretty vague. I mean, if it's a castle, there's probably a lot of shiny things. In the basement, you will find items I've prepared for you. The seven mystical thief tools. No, wait, were there seven? Well, whatever. Take them with you. They will prove useful during your battles with the enemy. Okay. Why are we doing this after something so horrible just happened? Hypno Pendulum. What is this? A stick? Scary mask. Smoke bomb. Siren beetle. What are these for? Can I equip them? Nope. Oh, they're my moves. Uh, stick these in a wall for a quick ladder. Use in battle to briefly pin an enemy down. Oh, that'd be useful. So that uh, they can't take their turn. How is an enemy to stop and cover its ears? Cool. Sway it in front of an enemy to lull it into a deep sleep. Explode into an accurate smoke bringing an enemy to tears. Scares an enemy lowering its offense. Equals an enemy. Okay, so he's a he's a debuffer. He has a bunch of stuff that makes enemies lose their turn or get weakened. I mean that's pretty good. And inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of the world. Back when the king of Osohi still lived in the castle. Yes, I believe that's when it was. Anyway, back then I hid this treasure where no one would ever lay eyes upon it. I felt it was too much for even the king of Asohi to handle, or so I recall anyway. But the as of yet unknown enemy may be trying to acquire it. Under normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me, but Johnny, I feel confident that I've hammered every technique I know into you. So try to accomplish this mission yourself. Understand? When you go outside, check behind the house. I've hidden another mystical thief tool like item there. Why didn't I hide them all separately like that? That's what I'd like to know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I refill the box every once in a while when I feel so inclined, so always keep that in mind. Alrighty. What is back here? Got a thunder bomb. Cool. If I had known about that, I could have had two thunder bombs and killed the the drago easily. Since the thunder bomb paralyzes it. You need something. But if it isn't Johnny, I see you still enjoy your nighttime strolls. 
Oh, you want to go to Sohi Castle? In that case, I'll mark it on your map for you. Thank you. I'm not even going to bother asking what you're off to do this late at night. But you do what? You do know that Osohi Castle's drawbridge is up, right? That means you can't get inside. But there are rumors of an underground passage that leads into the castle. I bet Nippolite the Gravekeeper knows something about it. Cool. The castle's where the graveyard is? Why? Why would the graveyard and the castle be together? Ooh. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Okay. Bye, little monkey dude. I don't know what that was about. Now another cutscene? Johnny! What's he hiding? If you promise not to tell anyone, I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money? There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What, you don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tasmili before. But apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. And then he asked me in tears if I'd trade, trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Okay. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this well here. Johnny, this secret is just between you and me. Can I take it? 50,000. But you put it back. Oh. Okay. So, that weird stranger with the monkey is gonna introduce capitalism to this tiny village oh there's another alien ship oh that looks like a helicopter what the heck he dropping bombs What is going on? I feel like there's an invasion happening. And it's it has to involve those weird pig aliens. Oh, the dead are coming to life? Oh Johnny. Yeah. Ugh. I I'm alive. Oh my god, they look disgusting. They're just rotting corpses. Oh, d didn't I die? More, more. Ugh, I want to live more. Hey, hey, stay back, okay? Oh my god, he's surrounded by zombies. Oh my... Is that you, Johnny? My, how you've grown! Why, there's so much of you that I could eat for three days and three nights and still have leftovers. Yeah, eh, eh. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, die. Just die already. Kill this guy. Youch. Wall staple him. Nice. He broke free. 
now. Ouch. They took two bites out of me. Rotten Eclair. Not even a useful item? A favorite among ghosts, not recommended for the living. There's the gravekeeper. Oh, it's old man Weiss's son. What's his name? You sure would love to walk around huh, at night, do you? Can I visit? Yeah, I can visit her grave. Will she also revive? No. Wife of Zaxi. Mother of the twins, Marius and Ayu. Daughter of Alec. May the beautiful crystal rest in peace here for all time. Zaxi's always offering flowers. Some flowers, Crystal's favorite. How nice. Good thing she wasn't revived, right? That would have been super sad and depressing if I had to kill her again. True connoisseurs know this is the ultimate shovel of the highest quality. It's locked. Drawbridge. It closed up the castle. Do people actually live in there? It's a sketch of the area. Okay. Anti, anti, ant, ant. That's what they think ants sound like. From nowhere in particular, you hear a voice. And that voice is mine. Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm like standing right here. I'm an ant, don't you dare step on me. I've been watching you fight for a while now, but I just can't take it anymore. Fights are all about rhythm. You know, like boom, boom, boo, boom, 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 and stuff. When you're in battle, there's a very specific rhythm that matches the enemy's beat. Pick up on that rhythm and victory will be yours. If you're really good, you can even pull off 16 hit combos. I hereby name these sound battles. That you very much. I don't know how to do that though. I mean, I've seen it happen where I get like double hits sometimes. But that's just because I'm spamming A. I don't know how to like perfect it. Zombie dog. Staple his ass. Yeah, I don't know how to do the, the beat thing. Nice level up. Alright. I'm in the graveyard dude's house. He has a save here. I don't want to save you. I, I should get these two gifts first. Beef jerky. Cool. There's a hole there. Peculiar cheese. I don't know if this dude likes cheese. I sure hope he does. It's nice that they reused some sounds from the, the second game. What is this place? What is this? Is that a shrimp? Oh no, it's a leech. It's a pretty weak enemy. Edible mushroom. That... Looks like it might be a little stronger. Spineless lobster. This dude is super weak. He's like, mega weak. I need to increase his attack. And quickly. I really do need better items. Because at the moment... Even these stupid lobsters do a lot. Yep, I'm all out of healing items. All I got is the cheese. I don't even know if the cheese is gonna be good enough. Oh, it's old man Wish's son. What's his name? You made it through the underground passage without being done in by all them uh, monsters? That's really something. Want inside the castle, do you? Afraid that's not gonna happen. The gate's locked and won't budge at all. 
Only way inside now is to climb up the walls. Well, the good thing about that is I got the wall staple technique. Yep. Climb up. There we go. I need to find a safe spot. Just in case. Some sort of waste product. And it looks like poop. Why would they drop poop on the castle though? Anti, anti, and okay. There's the ant again. Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm starting right here. Or I'm standing right here, you know? I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. Looks like you still haven't gotten the hang of battle rhythms. To really grasp a rhythm, you gotta learn the enemy's beat. Wait, you didn't know you can hear the enemy's heartbeat by putting it to sleep? Well, I knew. So now you better know too. Don't worry though. You can still fight just fine without doing any of this rhythm stuff, of course. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay. So I need to put it to sleep. I'm not a ghost frog. Shall I save your game? You need to put him to sleep with the hypnosis thing and then you can do it. The painting's following me. Look at its eyes. You get the odd feeling that the woman in the painting is staring at you. Decorative suit of armor. The statue's title is written on the plate. A heavy metal. <laughs> okay. It's like Luigi's Mansion. Oh. The ghost. This st stinky ghost suddenly attacked. Rotten milk. None of this is helpful. But I'll use it. Oh, he's nauseous. Yeah, I can't eat it. It is pretty bad. How am I supposed to continue if I can't get past that area? Let me save again. Alright. I'm gonna leave this episode off here today. Um, I feel like I've explored quite a lot. Um, and I don't know. It's been really interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen since they weren't able to find Marius, even though he's okay, at least. At least he seemed okay. Maybe just a little concussed, you know, a little injured. But if he, if he heals up, he, he can come back home on his own. Um, and I guess we're gonna figure out whatever this shiny, mysterious relic item is that um, this dude's father wants me to get. But that's all for the next one. If you like the episodes so far, feel free to subscribe, give the video a like, share, do everything. You know, boost it in the algorithm. I'll be happy. Leave a comment. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good night or day. Bye-bye.